welcome back to my country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what i'm up to and what i'm up to today is i'm just simply wrapping a gift you guys that's all i'm doing i'm wrapping one of stacy's gifts as a matter of fact and i guess i can't tell you what it is because you know she watches so you know i can't I just can't tell you, but I am going to go ahead and wrap it real quick here and come back and I'm going to make a bow for, to go on to her present. You know, I just want to make it, you know, a little something special for Stacy because she is a little something special. Sometimes we don't put bows on all our gifts since the kids were little, you know, and I don't know why that is, but we stopped doing that. Let me, I don't think she can see anything. Let me get it covered just a little bit, then I'll turn it around. Hang on. Okay. I'm telling you, one of the very best things I ever purchased like 30 years ago was one of these. And I remember, it looks like there's tape all over the side of it. This thing is ancient. It's weighted though. And I'm telling you, I've had this thing for years and everybody uses this thing. And I cannot tell you how wonderful it is when you're gift wrapping. You know, to have something like that, that you don't have to pick up that tape. I see a lot of people who, you know, still to this day use the, uh, the ones you put on your wrist, you know. I never liked those. I don't know why. I just never got used to them because I've always had this thing and I love it. A little t tape dispenser. I'm sure it was, it's not expensive to buy now, but when I bought it, you guys, it was super expensive to me. We didn't have a lot of money, you know? We just didn't. So every little thing extra like that was crazy expensive. Oh, I could have got that a little tighter. For those of you who don't know, gift wrapping, is not my favorite thing to do. I don't know why. It's just I've never, it's never been something that I completely enjoy. <laughs> I love the giving of the gifts. I just don't care for the wrapping of the gifts. And I don't know why. I got this wrapping paper from World Market for free. You guys, I got a text message this morning that says, you know, come pick up your free while supplies last. And I was like, Chris, head to World Market. Let's go. Got a free roll of wrapping paper. So off we went and got a free roll. do uh, a funky bow but I'm thinking I have this let it snow in gray and I've got this red this was from the dollar dollar general for two dollars I don't know how much I have of this I think I only have one roll and I'm not sure that this would be enough I'd like to just use the red on this I would like to put, you know, like a crisscross on it. I'm betting, nope, I don't have enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a big loopy bow. How about we do that for this? Just make a pretty red loopy bow. And all I'm gonna do, let me put you over here, sorry y'all. Excuse my mess beside me. There we go. All I'm gonna do, is just make as many loops as I can out of this one piece of one roll of ribbon. So I'm gonna pull the end of the ribbon toward myself and fold it over and kind of crisscross, kind of picture how big I want the bow to be. So I want it kind of to be that big. And I wanna pull this over like this the other way and I wanna overlap. I wanna overlap that. 
And I want to pinch it together right at that point. I'm going to go ahead and put a center loop in this bow. So I'm going to twist that ribbon. I'm going to turn it around my forefinger. See that? Turning it around my forefinger and just accordion it together underneath. And then I simply just want to go side to side and make the same size loops for as many times as I can. I'm hoping to get three on each side of center. Make them the same size or as best I can. And twist to bring the right side up. And twist and the right side up. Twist. I think that'll be, I'm going to do one more, right about the same size. And then I'm going to bring this up and we'll have two, three tails. How about? And I'll cut, I'll cut that one big long one and we'll have three tails about the same length. Okay. There we go. Let me get a pipe cleaner. Let's do silver. Since the edges of this are silver. I'm going to feed it through the loop, but over my thumb. Put it through that loop there and around the top. Use this hand as resistance and get this hand up as close as you can. I had to shake that hand out. It's been a minute since I've made a bow. <laughs> it was cramping on me. I just twist that. Twist tie and the scissors and cut that one tail in half. And of course, as always, we're going to do a little fluffing. Like a pretty red gift bow. Maybe a little better than you can find in a package, you know. And let me get it taped on here. I'm just going to tape it on with regular tape. Let me turn you all around this way. Tape it at the top, I think. Right like that. And then I'll do some more fluffing once I get it taped on here. She can take the bow home and use it next year for somebody else's gift if she wants. Now I'm going to leave that pipe cleaner alone in the back and just, you know, do a little fluffing. edges at an angle like that. Oops. And cut the middle. Like that. And I think that looks super pretty. Now I need to run and get a tag. So I can write her tag. Be right back. To Stacy. I always knock out the from and put love. Chris and Marlin.
and there is a gift for Stacy. Yay! <laughs> All right, let me come around here and talk with y'all a little bit. So here we go with another little vlogmas <laughs> uh, episode. This one really probably wasn't much longer than 10 minutes, if it was even 10 minutes. But I'm showing you what I'm doing going through my day. I know I'm dressed like I was when I was talking about our... Uh, our little day trip there over to Country Treasures, but I that was all I did. And I said, well, I can certainly do another video and wrap a gift for Stace. You know, this paper wasn't the best. Got a little tear in it there. Let me put a little piece of tape on that. Shh, don't tell anybody I did that. <laughs> but that looks pretty. I think that looks pretty. So I was thinking that I could come back and do, make a few funky bows uh, to put on some gifts or make a couple of uh, bows like this and just use up some of my ribbon. I've got so much ribbon downstairs, but uh, anyway, but anyway, that's it for this one. That's, that's it, y'all. I was just uh, wanted to get this one thing wrapped and I thought, well, I'm fixing to do this. Why don't I put this on camera, you know? So... I may come back with another bow video, you know, and make up some funky bows and make up some, you know, it's maybe a little bow extravaganza. One of you guys called for me to do that. You wanted me to do a little bow extravaganza. So maybe I'll do that. And Chris does most of the wrapping, if I'm honest. So I could just make up some bows, sit here and make up some bows for him. So maybe I'll do that for the next video. Maybe I'll sit here right now and do that and record another video for you guys. <laughs> we'll have some videos this week, y'all. Yes, we will. <laughs> and some boat tutorials and you know along with it so alrighty, you guys that's it so uh let me just say that i hope that all is well with everyone and i hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain i hope that you have someone there with you taking care of you helping you get through each day making the very very best out of each day I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.